2024 is definitely going to be the year of OLED. Lots of new monitors being announced left and right and well MSI is no exception. In fact, they have the biggest selection of OLED monitors which we're going to check out. By the way, while I was at the MSI booth, I soon realized how loud the showroom floor got and it was very difficult to capture crisp audio. So I had to switch to the Lark M2, which I'm using right now for my CES coverage because this has built in noise cancellation and it's so small and light weighing at nine grams, which is why I love traveling with it. All right, so I'm here at the MSI booth and you guys can probably hear there's a lot of background noise. Um, noise canceling is currently off. So I'm gonna go ahead, switch it back on, and I'm sure you guys can hear the difference now. A lot of the background noise has died down with the noise canceling feature enabled. Each mic can last up to 10 hours with ENC off, but with the included charging case, you can get two full charges out of each mic, extending the battery life up to 40 hours. It only takes one and a half hours to fully charge both mics at the same time. If you guys are in the market for a portable, light, and great sounding microphone for content creation, then check the link down below. MSI's MEG 32-inch QD OLED monitor is quite possibly the most interesting monitor I have seen in all of CES. Aside from the high-end specs like 4K resolution, 240Hz refresh rate, and the 0.03 millisecond response time, it has a fascinating AI feature. They are calling it AI Skylight, and it might just be borderline cheating. So this will detect an enemy's position in the game and it will mark it right on the screen, making it very easy for you to spot. Now I know what you're thinking, this is basically wall hacks, but not quite. In order for the AI to mark the enemy's location on the screen, it would have to first detect it in the minimap. So technically it's not cheating, but this will add such an advantage to gamers because it eliminates the need to look at the minimap altogether. This is only a demo for League of Legends, but imagine this working on Call of Duty, right? Your team pops at UAV, revealing the location of your enemies, but you're too focused in the game to look at the map. Then all of a sudden, you see the enemy's location on your screen behind a wall, and you can start pre-firing. I think this can definitely be a game changer if this is available for FPS games. Another cool feature is the Spectrum Bar with Mystic Light and Glow Sync. This will essentially mimic your health bar in games and update in real time to give you a visual of how much HP is left on the actual monitor light bar. I'm not exactly sure how functional this really is, but it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the MEG monitor isn't exactly available for purchase as of yet since it's merely a concept. However, its identical twin, the MPG321URX, will be available this February. It's basically the same monitor but without the AI Skylight technology. You still get a massive 32-inch 4K QD OLED display with 240Hz refresh rate, 0.03 millisecond response time, and incredible color reproduction. MSI also introduced a 34-inch ultra-wide OLED curve monitor as well. Now this one will have slightly lower 175Hz refresh rate, but older QD OLED monitors will now have 90 watt Type-C connectors. If 27 inch is more your size, you're lucky because you get to pick between two awesome displays. Both have a 1440p display, except the QD OLED panel has 360 hertz refresh rate, while the 500 refresh rate monitor has a mini LED panel, simply because OLED panels just can't get that high of a refresh rate at the moment. You also don't have to worry about burning because all of MSI's QD OLED monitors will have OLED Care 2.0. This is a software that's built in a monitor that will optimize screen protection and reduce the risk of burn-in during extended use. Taskbar detection is one of those new features. It will detect and scan the taskbar on your desktop and it will automatically reduce the luminance to prevent burn-in. MSI is also doing their version of rear connectors on motherboards. They are calling it Project Zero, where they reposition all the connectors from the front to the back to achieve a clean and minimal look. They currently showcased a few motherboards, a part of their Project Zero lineup with a few more to come later this year. And we do have a few of their compatible cases like the MSI Mag Pano M100. An interesting dual chamber design with, I guess, technically three clear side panels. However, there was one other case that caught my attention. The MSI Meg Maestro 700L. I did a build in a similar case recently, but this one looks so much cleaner because of this single giant panoramic piece of glass that slides in the case. It looks absolutely stunning, and I personally can't wait to do a build in it. 
This is the first case of its kind to use one glass piece for both sides, and I think it's going to be extremely popular. It's also equipped with MSI's new magnetic fans. You can daisy chain them together up to six fans for a single port on the controller or a total of 18 fans on a single controller. Now, even though the fans are magnetic, you would still need to secure them together using these magnetic clips that go in on both sides. You can, of course, control the lights using the Mystic Light software, but I was surprised that they actually added more ways to customize the lighting on the fans, which I'm hoping might be a glimpse into the near future where we have access to more lighting effects for other MSI components, because right now, Mystic Light is very limited on what you can customize in terms of lights. We did get one more new AIO from MSI. The MAG Core Liquid will now feature a single bracket that works on both Intel and AMD CPUs, which is great because now builders don't have to dig through the bags and find the correct bracket for their system. The fans also have a cover on the side to help hide the cables, which I thought was pretty cool. I'm sure you guys already saw the announcement of the new 40 series graphics cards. Well, MSI already has an entire arsenal of them, including a few slim versions of the Super Series, which are going to be extremely popular in small form factor builds where performance is the focus. And finally, if you're a Monster Hunter fan watching this video and you've always wanted to build a PC in the same theme, well, you're soon gonna be able to do that because MSI is gonna be launching an entire collection of Monster Hunter themed components. This includes a motherboard, a graphics card, a controller, and even a monitor and PC case. So you can build an entire Monster Hunter themed setup with ease. If you guys wanna check out anything I mentioned in the video, click the link below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.